What up, what up, this Jay Blade out of Cat, Mississippi. Nominated for the best rap hip-hop album for the Little Rich LP. The features on the album was Mac and Badge, Nev DeVille, Nature Boy, and Miss Mac of JST Records. Some of my biggest influences when I first started doing music was like people like Jay-Z, Nas, Scarface, Snoop Dogg, Bone Thug. You know, I would describe the Little Rich LP as a collection of singles. Uh, basically I raise money everything that I do for my projects is like out of pocket so whatever I'm putting into the music whenever I recoup that I just put that back you know in, into what I'm doing as an artist uh, I chose to submit this album to the 12th uh, annual AMA uh, just on the strength of going through different websites and always seeing the name and I did my research so I thought it'd be a good opportunity. Uh, my definition of success is just to be able to uh, continue to do the music and do the type of music that I want to do and have the type of control over my music that I do now. You know, just doing it on a larger level but having the same type of control that I have now. My main career goal is just to be able to run a full-fledged, up-and-running, you know, independent record label, fully staffed, and just making good music and making the type of music that we like to make and just having the same type of control. Uh, it, the different type of people that you will see in the crowd at one of my shows, you know, it'll be a older hip-hop head. He could be in his 30s, and then you will see, like, a little young cat, like 15, 16 years old, but you know, they vibe into the same music. I speak to all different lifestyles. Um, the artist that people would be surprised that I'm listening to right now will uh, be uh, like somebody like Coldplay, you know, like me being a hip hop artist, you know, and Coldplay being like an alternative rock band. You know, I think people would be surprised that I would be listening to that right now. I discover new music basically I'm going on different blogs and different hip hop sites and you know, just on social networks, you know, and hearing about new people, you know, I go check out check out the music. Uh I don't know, like if fans start buying music, it's different revenue streams, but you know, the overall thing is the music. The music is the foundation for, you know, all the extra stuff. So if fans just stop buying music, artists will still be able to make a living. But at the end of the day, that's what we make music for, for people to buy the music, you know. Uh, what fans don't understand about the industry today is, like, you know, things don't happen overnight. It's not an overnight process. You know, artists have to be developed. And certain things had to happen for you to get in a certain place. So a lot of people think it just, you know, at the snap of a finger, you go straight through the roof. But, you know, it, it's really a whole nother different process, you know, to the whole situation. Uh, in the future, I have coming up, Living for the City 2. I'm dropping that in the fall of uh, 2013. And then I'll be going into the top of the new year, 2014, with uh, Living for the City 3, you know, and then the Living for the City album later on in that year. Uh, you can find my music at www.cdbaby.com backslash jblade. You also can uh, holler at me on Twitter at I am jblade. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, JSTV. I got love for her, and I'm cool with him. Associate with the rest, I'm alright with them. Even though I don't know him, share my sights with them. Know what my life like, 